Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to install and enable plugins that you can use in the music software Audacity. Let's get started. So you'll want to have Audacity open. And if you've used Audacity in the past, you'll notice that there are plugins that you can use and you can find the plugins in the effect uh, tab. You'll see there's an option here to see all the plugins that can, you, you can use and then there's an option to add or remove plugins. Now that comes second. So there's something you need to do before you click on add or remove plugins. So uh, the best place to find information on the plugins is to head to your browser and go to www.audacityteam.org and uh, I'll put a link to this in the description below. And this is uh, where you can find information for uh, plugins. So if you go to the download tab and you click on plugins, it gives you um, everything you need to know about uh, plugin installation uh, for Audacity. And so if I scroll a little bit, you can see there's instructions. So if uh, you're going to install into a Windows, uh, then you can find the instructions here. And it gives you the instructions for each kind of plugin. So uh, Nyquist and VST and so forth. And then, um, you know, this works for all operating systems, Windows, Mac, or Linux. As you scroll through this page, uh, you might find the VST plugins, and they give you a couple examples here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the Hit Squad uh, plugins that are available. There are many plugins that you can use uh, from other uh, companies as well. And so let's try maybe this um, Reverb plugin. And once I uh, click on download, so you want to have the download plug uh, plugin installed onto your computer, and then I'll show you what to do next. So we'll find the uh, the new uh, version here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click this, and then download the uh, plugin. So once it downloads, you can go ahead and show it in the folder, and then once you find it in the folder that it downloaded to, you will want to extract that plugin and then it will uh, give you the place that's going to place the plugin. So now that the plugin is installed on my computer, what I need to do to get it into Audacity is to go to uh, open up a new folder here, and I'm going to go to this PC, and this is for Windows users, and it'll be similar for other systems too. Then I'm going to go to uh, Local Disk, and then I'm going to find it in my program files. You can also do a search on your computer for Audacity. Here's the Audacity program files, and you can see uh, how I got there. And this is where the plugin folder is. So I'm going to click on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, Freeverb uh, plugin that I just installed, and I'm going to just drag and drop it into this plugin file. And then it says I might going to need an initial access. So I say continue. And so now uh, that plugin is installed into the Audacity, is put into the Audacity plugin folder. So now when I go back to Audacity, and I want to uh, install that plugin. What I will do is I will go to the top of the page, press effect again. That's where the plugins are. Add and remove plugins. And then I'm going to find that uh, plugin that I just installed, Freeverb 2. There it is. And I'm going to click on that. And you see its state is new. What I need to do is I need to click enable. And so now I've clicked enable. So you see it, Freeverb 2 changed to enabled. So now I press OK. And now when I go to the effects, and I'm going to see, I'm going to find the free verb 2. Sometimes it doesn't show up right away. Um, so you might need to, um, uh, you know, um, uh, restart your computer. But I see it here on the bottom here, free verb 2. There it is. So that gives me uh, the plugin there. And so now I can use that plugin in Audacity. And this is going to be similar for other plugins as well um, from any company that you're using and for most uh, different things. Again, remember, you need to keep it at a 32 bit plugin for it to work correctly uh, with Audacity. You now know how to install and enable the plugins that you're going to use in Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.